Hey guys, it is Keitha the Bajan Texan. It has been so long since I've been with you guys and I'm so excited to restart my channel and start bringing you guys weekly content. The first video I'm gonna do for 2024 is to tell you about how I plan my year, uh, what I do to just get my week off to a great start. Then I'm gonna tell you about my 90 day planning, etc. in future videos. But for today, I wanna just start with <clears throat> what I do, and this includes the planning that I do for myself personally, and then the planning that I do with my husband. We kind of do like a couple's retreat where we go to a hotel and just spend the weekend like planning for our week, talking about the past year and what things we want to do differently or the same, plan out any travel, any anything that we want to do for the whole year. So talk about our goals and aspirations together. So that's another part of this goal setting that I will be showing you guys. And then I'm going to show you the actual um, uh, things, the, the written things that I do, how I write out this plan, and I'll provide you with those printables as well so you can plan your year. And I know it's February. Don't worry. 2024 is still just getting started. You still have time to do this. So let's do it. All right. The first part of this reset is to what? Review your past year. Like what happened last year is so easy to forget everything that happened in a year. So how I do it, how I remind myself of all the great things is I go into my Google photos and you know how it has like month by month. I go through all my pictures month by month and it reminds me of all the things. Okay, so let's do that. Let's review my 2023. So the first thing I did for the year was I did a girl's trip for my cousin's 40th birthday. It was amazing. We did a cruise, a seven day cruise. Um, then my girls had their first school dance. That was so cool. My daughter Peyton uh, had her first of many uh, performances with her rock band. Um, my girls, we surprised them with a Disney cruise. We thought they thought they were only going to New Orleans, but then we took a cruise out of New Orleans. Uh, while we were in New Orleans, we also took a plantation tour, which was very, very good. I highly recommend it. The girls had lots of questions and it was great. I uh, also had an event with the president of Rice University, my alma mater. We went to his home, him and his wife Paula. It was awesome. Um, I started a book club. Like I've been wanting to do a book club in my neighborhood. I've been wanting to read more. So I started a book club and it's been going great. My other trip was to the Bahamas with my BFFs, my track BFFs. And they, uh, we had a really good time. I have to show you how we do it in the Caribbean for our trap meets. Um, I have to pause here so that you can see what a Caribbean trap meet is really, really like. And in case you were wondering what I was doing during this trap meet is I was jumping up and wrapping <laughs> my 246 Barbados. So when I got back, my girls turned 12. They had a pool party here at home. It was a let's glow, glow in the dark 12 party. So they had a ton of friends come over and they watched a movie on the big screen by the pool, in the pool. So that was really, really nice. Uh, we celebrate birthdays hard here because my little girls were micro preemies, born one pound each. And you can see the before and after here of Jordan and the before and after here of Peyton. So I always celebrate their birthdays hard. Jordy also had her first on stage performance. She did so good um, acting in her school play. She had a huge part and she did really, really amazing. Then in June, we went to Barbados. Um, we stayed at the Fairmont Royal Pavilion. I highly recommend that hotel if you're going to Barbados. It was beautiful. Um, this was us just walking. There's a beach by my mom's house. We just walked down there. Um, and Pat got to play golf at all his favorite golf courses. He played at Sandy Lane, Barbados, and at Apes Hill, Barbados. The beaches in Barbados are just magical. <laughs> There's no other place in the world. This is the view from our hotel room. Um, you can see that, you know, just waking up and hearing that, this, and just seeing this white sand and turquoise blue water, there's nothing like Barbados. Please go visit my, my beautiful country. So we were actually there to celebrate my best friend's um, 40th wedding, uh, 20th wedding anniversary. 
So we went to that event as well while we were there. We also got to hang out with a lot of my high school friends and touring the island. That was very, very fun. Um, getting back was my birthday month. My brothers, both my brothers were here. My best friend came, my cousin. Uh, they brought their kids so the girls got to play with their cousins and we had a time, okay? We went out downtown Austin, actually at the Domain. We cooked a lot of Barbados food. There's some barbecue pigtails. And then for our birthdays, my brother D and I, our birthdays are a few days apart, so we had a pool party, we had a DJ, and it was lit. <laughs> Here's how lit it was. It was just us, y'all. And when I say we had a good time, that time was had. Um, next in August, we went to Galveston and did a fishing trip. We just chartered a private boat so it was just us and we could be sure we would catch fish because <laughs> we've been fishing many times and I've never caught fish. And it was beautiful. We did an early morning one, like 6 a.m. So we got to watch the sunrise. We got to see the dolphins in the water. Peyton caught the world's smallest fish. Here she is. <laughs> but we also caught a lot of big fish as well. And we actually um, took the biggest of them. We threw back a lot of them. And we took them to a local restaurant and they blackened them for us and we ate those and they were so good. Uh, some of our friends came down to stay at the beach house while well, they just came for the day. Um, so that was really nice too. Then it was the girl's first day of school. In October, I went to a uh, UT football game with my friend Nisha and it was club level. So we had unlimited food and drinks and that's the only way I can watch football. <laughs> the girls tried soccer this year, so that was cool. I'm the chair of the social committee of our neighborhood and we did a chili cook-off that was amazing this year. I played the, um, it was really nice. Um, some of my college friends and I went to Miraval, Austin. Um, and just hung out and relaxed. Another thing that I did this year that I absolutely love was I started to make sourdough. My neighbor gave me a sourdough slaughter and I have done sourdough artisan bread. I've done sourdough sandwich bread, pizza. So I will definitely be showing sourdough on this channel to show you guys how easy it is and the bread is just so, so good. Then we went to Vegas with our BFFs again. Um, the Housewives of Atlanta were there, so there was Candy, and also Kenya was there. She was, this is when we were at the Usher concert. She was being serenaded, but we had a blast <laughs> at the Usher concert. Um, and then we went to the football game too. So we, the Legion Stadium is really nice. That's where they're playing the, um, the Super Bowl this year. It's really, really nice. So the game was really fun. And then my favorite trip of the year, we went to Vail. Um, we took the girls to Vail and we did private snowboarding um, lessons. Highly recommend that. So it was just us four together learning how to snowboard. And uh, we could do it as slowly or quickly as we wanted to. And it was, it was really, really amazing. I just loved how quaint and cute Vail was. It was epic trip. It was just so beautiful. This is at our hotel. It was just so gorgeous. Then my friend Janelle, we've been friends since we were 11. She came from Barbados to visit me. She comes every November. So we went to like Magnolia, we went out to dinner, we went to parties. It, we had a good time as we always do. Um, another event in our neighborhood that I put on was our Christmas party. So I did that balloon arch there. I did this dessert bar and then we all decorated the space. It turned out really lovely. The neighbors had a great time at the Christmas party. So I'm really glad that we did it. It was awesome. Um, then for our own Christmas, we always host Christmas Eve out of our home and we do sing carols by candlelight. That's what's happening here. So that was really, really nice too. Um, and we exchanged, did the white elephant game and just played games. We played family feud. It was just a fun time. Um, and then Christmas day, we opened our presents. We stayed in our pajamas all day. We walked the dogs in our pajamas. We went to past aunt and exchanged gifts with her. It was great. Then my mom came to visit. Um, she went to Japan to visit my sister and then she came to us for New Year's. We had a New Year's Eve party. That was really fun. Another games night that was cool. My mom always has a good time. We took her to Magnolia too. Um, but yeah, we just, it was just a great, it was a great year, I've got to say. Me and my mom went to Kalahari's and we just hung out and relaxed and we just had a really good time when she visited. 
Okay, so that was me reviewing my year. It reminded me of the things that I loved about last year that I wanna continue into this year. And it also reminded me of things I didn't. Um, so um, yeah, so now I just sat down uh, around, you know, that first week of January and I just sat by myself and just kind of reviewed my life, what I wanted to do, what I wanted to change, things I wanted to improve, things I wanted to do more of, things I wanted to do less of. And yeah, I just thought about those things for myself and using this printable, um, I was able to um, go through each facet of my life, whether it's spiritual, social, career, marriage, my kids, so parenting, um, everything, every facet of my life and see where I wanna improve and what I wanna do differently. So I'm gonna give you that free printable, of course. You can go ahead and grab that. I'll have it linked in the description box for you to grab it. Um, but it also allows you to not only think through all of those, but once you have your goals, so say my goal that I say is I wanna lose five pounds or 10 pounds this year. I wanna work out five times a week. When am I gonna do that? It allows me to actually schedule it into my week so I can build those weekly and my daily routines of how am I gonna do that. So my plan is, as I have been, to drop the girls off at the school bus, go straight to the gym, be back to start work at eight. So that is my plan to actually get it done. What does that mean? It means I have to put on my clothes that Friday night, I mean the night before, and I put on my gym clothes as soon as I wake up, brush my teeth, and be ready to go when I take the girls to the, to the bus stop or to school. So that has been working great, but I really feel like the planning part, not just writing down the goals, but the planning of how you're gonna execute those goals is very, very critical. Okay. Okay, so that's kind of like my personal planning, um, how I plan for myself. But the second part of that is couples planning. So uh, what we try to do is a couples retreat kind of weekend. Um, this weekend, this year it was kind of messed up because Jordan had a basketball on Saturday, basketball game on Saturday, so we couldn't take the full Saturday. So what we decided to do is start it off with something fun that we can do together as a couple. And we decided to go to the Cat Williams comedy show. That was super funny. It was actually, uh, Cat Williams had done that um, break the internet interview with Shannon Sharp, and this was his first comedy show after that. So it was very, very funny. Uh, he had Mark Curry and he had um, Tommy Davidson with him, Lil Mo, some other people, but it was a fun way to start the weekend. So after the comedy show, we just came home. Normally we would go to the hotel, um, preferably we would go to the hotel that night, but um, we just came home because Jordan had a basketball game that day. So we ended up just um, coming home that night. We had a babysitter so the girls weren't at home. We woke up that morning and we started planning our days. We both had our iPads and we went through this document that we go through um, that I prepared. It was just like we talking through our goals basically the same goals that we individually thought about, but now we're thinking of them like a couple, like how can we support each other in their goals? So say um, I, he wants to work out as soon as he gets home from work, we talk through, you know, okay, so I'm not gonna ask him to take out the trash as soon as he gets home because I know when he gets home, he's going straight to the gym. And, um, you know, we're just, we're just talking through how we can support each other. It's just little things, but also big things. We're also talking through um, vacations. We're talking through um, just everything on our facet of life, our church life. We do a lot of serving at church. We were talking about cutting back on serving so that we can actually, you know, feel more connected to church, actually listen to the sermon, etc. So we always start with a prayer. Um, start off with our prayer and then we read a few scriptures that pertain to um, actually um, planning together or just planning in general and I'll share and then the next part of it is we actually sit down and go through our financials at the computer with the screen big screens um, I do a spreadsheet at the end of the year I just I just download everything from our joint account so we, we we do our money jointly so there's just one account and it's both of us putting our checks into that account and then we decide how we're going to disperse the money from there um and so we go through the joint account look at our spending we see how much we've spent what i do is i do a pivot table if you're into excel i do a pivot table i categorize each 
each transaction for an entire year. And yes, it takes me a while. Um, but then I categorize it and then I break out those categories in a pivot table so we can see how much we spent in each facet of our life, whether it's um, on entertainment, how much we spent on travel, how much we spent on groceries, how much we spent on eating out, and I don't even want to tell you that number. Also, how much we brought in and how much went out every month, that's important to know. Um, but we're just going through all of that together. Then we're talking through investments, what we want to invest more. Do we want to add more to retirement? Do we want to do less? Do we want to, what kind of new investments do we want to invest in? My husband is in, um, he's a, um, oh God, what, <laughs> what the hell? Um, oh, sorry. My husband's a financial advisor, so he knows all the investments and he might want to try something new or invest in something else that he heard about. Um, so we just talk through if it's a good idea. We also talk through house stuff, like any house projects we want to do. We live in this beautiful home, but it's an older home, so it always needs something that we want to do. One of the bigger um, projects that we want to do this year, what we want to do eventually is to add, convert our garage, build a new garage, and then convert our garage into like an apartment type thing. So a one bedroom with, with kitchen and bathroom type kitchenette, I would say type space that um, something happens to our parents, they can stay there. When people come to visit, they have their own private place. Um, so that's one of the house projects that we're talking through. We're also talking through getting me a home office because um, right now I work all of, of, out of our master bedroom. Our master bedroom is absolutely huge, but just, you know, there's no separation when you don't have an actual true office. I'm just like in the corner of our bedroom working. So we're talking through what makes sense to do with how much the house is valued. We're talking through all the things in life financially as well as a part of this. Um, so we didn't finish it all. So we left some of it for when we checked into the hotel um more more so like um the fun stuff we left for the hotel <laughs> like travel and stuff like that we also talk through our girls like what we want to do with them this year like what are their what passions did they discover this year that we want to really feed into jordan's into basketball finally so we're pushing her and investing in her this summer for basketball stuff um, we want them to start track this year so we know we're going to do summer track so we're just talking through all of those things And then it's finally time to check into the hotel. We leave the house and the girls are with, you know, off. And it's just the two of us driving through the Austin Hill country to check into this hotel. And the sunset was glorious. So I said, let me make sure that I get <laughs> some video of this amazing sunset as we drove. It was just beautiful. So I love hotel room tours, so I'll just tour, give you a small tour of this cute little room. Um, again, the Omni Barnum Creek. Um, it was perfect for what we needed. There was a table that we could sit at, although we really didn't sit at that table. <laughs> um, there was a beautiful view outside of the windows, and I'll show you that view during the day because it was much more spectacular. Um, but uh, then we just explored the hotel. It was huge. Um, and we went and sat outside by the fire pits and talked through our couple's goals. Um, we, what I do is I create a Apple notes. So it's a shared note between the two of us. So we both have those, that note on our phone and on our iPads and we kind of plan our, our year. Um, it's, really really nice to do it together so we each talk about our goals that we have separately kind of talk you know what we want to achieve and then we because we're together now we talk about how we can help each other achieve the goals so like for him when he wants to work out is as soon as he gets home from work so when he gets home from work i'm not saying hey can you do this can you do that i know that he's going to come home and go straight and work out and i am fine you know i'm fine with that i know that that's his goal he wants to make sure he gets in he's training for like a 
10k or whatever so he's going to be doing that goal so it was nice to do the aspirational thing at the hotel at night by the fire pit it was just very lovely setting uh, you're not worrying about the girls hearing what you're talking about you're just kind of relaxing and watching a fire and talking so I can share this um, our Apple note as well I can put it into a Google Doc and just share it with you so that if you want to use this format so after all our planning, I wanted to show you guys the view from our hotel room now that it's daytime. In the morning, we woke up refreshed. We had went to dinner that night and still talking through our, our year, right? Um, but woke up to this beautiful view, went down and had the buffet breakfast. And then we went home and got the girls and we took them to a Tina Turner musical. They're super into musicals. So that's how we ended off our planning weekend by taking them to see Tina Turner. Okay, I know this video is super long, but part of this reset is resetting the house and it was an absolute mess. And it's just all the Christmas stuff. I put up a ton of trees. I have eight trees inside and four outside. Um, and just getting all of that Christmas clutter gone <laughs> is a big part of resetting for the year. So that's why this video is late because it's February, but it takes me that long to just reset everything, reset the home, reset everything. So I want to take you along, along of me just um, resetting everything, taking down all the Christmas stuff. And I wanted to make that a, this a part of my first video also because um, the last time I was on YouTube, we were in a totally different house, totally different city. We were still in Houston, Leak City to be exact. Um, and now we are in Austin. This is where my husband is from. So we are in Austin in a new house and I'll be doing tons of videos about what we've done to transform this home. We, um, this house had amazing, amazing bones, but, um, and it really reminded me of the home that I grew up in. I grew up in a plantation house in Barbados and it has that kind of stately old vibe to it um, and we've tried to stick with that with all the renovations and stuff that we've done we haven't done a lot of crazy renovations but the ones we have done um, we try to make sure we stay with the era of the home so it looks you know it matches um, I find a lot of people when they redecorate a new house or stuff they don't think about what style the house is like they might put modern stuff in a house that looks very farmhousey um, so I just stuck with this so for example, this house had black marble floors downstairs. <laughs> so we took those out um, and we put in um, wood tile, but we did a dark wood tile. That's the floor that I grew up with. Well, obviously real wood, but mahogany floors is what I grew up with. So I wanted that same dark wood look, but the durability of, um, durability of tile. Um, we did the same thing with the pool, like a modern pool would have looked nice, but it would not have gone with the house. So I'll definitely show you guys that transformation of adding a pool and I'll go step by step on everything that I did to um, plan, design, and I'll take you through the day by day of what, you know, doing the pool entails as well. Okay, so I've got this Grinch tree up here. And I've got all of this, all of the garland along the stairs to take down. And I still got two more trees, well, I guess three trees to take down. I've taken down four, three, yeah. Um, so yeah. And then I have to take out the trees that are outside. <laughs> four trees are outside. And then look, two little ones on the porch too. I sauteed on the porch stuff. Anywho, let's get on the garland. Joseph and Jesus was like chef's kiss. So I always 
add and look at the details like the image look, look at Jesus' hair like lamb's wool baby like it's perfection i love this picture so much so it's just a canvas and i put it into the center of the tree and then i just put some florals around it to accentuate it but this is my tree this year it's a frosted nine foot tree i put it on top of crates so that it becomes a 10 foot or 11 foot tree um and yeah it's perfect for this space uh, but i'm ready to get my table back don't look, don't look at the house I already get this table back here because it's like, we're just so used to walking in and putting the keys right here. Um, and then I need to get this down. Um, if you have seen this, um, if you haven't, but this is, um, actually when we bought the house, I thought this was just a mirror and I was getting ready to take this down because I really don't like the grape <laughs> thing. Um, so I was gonna take this down, put another mirror there, and I realized it was a whole entire closet in here. So this is just where the kids keep their shoes and backpacks and stuff like that. It gets disorganized very quickly. So this is one of those spaces I need to organize too. But it's 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 so helpful that it's right here. And I love this freaking mirror slash door. Um, the person who made this house, who built this house was a builder like that's his job um he's a builder so he just has such great ideas you can see the door thing right there it's just perfect and then on the bottom he's got the molding built into it, it i mean <laughs> the level of detail that this guy did in this home is why i absolutely love it but anyway i need to get this down to this is our christmas cards only a few of them i have two of these but I only put up one this year. I don't know why. So I have a bunch of cards that were just around the table. Um, so yeah. All right. So I need to start getting down stuff. Uh, trying to think of what's the easier thing to get started. If I should try to take down this tree first. So I can feel accomplished with having one room. But like that room's off there. Like I'm not that worried about it. This room, this space, I got to get like, ugh, my brain is going crazy. Uh, so let's get started. I'm gonna start taking stuff off of this tree. All right, so of course I forgot to film actually <laughs> taking down the tree. It took me about an hour, an hour and a half. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought. So here I am putting in and put my table back where it goes and um, putting my little smell good stuff. I like to use the wax melters. Um, they really smell great. Um, and then I made this floral arrangement from some flowers from Hobby Lobby. I love creating my own floral arrangements. And now let's clean this space and get it back to normal. So we have um, double doors. Um, and the kind of double doors that we have, um, it's like this. So there's a line down the middle. So I always hang my wreaths on black ribbon because I can't put like one of those suction cups in the middle because there's a piece of wood. So I have it Velcroed to the top of the door. I need to get these Christmas wreaths down. So what I'm going to do is this. So these are nine foot doors, I think. Um, so I had to use a ladder to get up there, but I have a piece of Velcro on the top of the ribbon and on the top of the door. So that's how it sticks right there. So I just use that same black ribbon for all of my wreaths and keep them keep that ribbon attached to each wreath. So I can just change it out. Um, I don't have to change out ribbon or cut new ribbon every time. I just have to, um, yeah, just stick it on top of the door. Concedia died, it's freezing. 
I need to um, go ahead and remove these from on top of this thing too. It's just wire. And it's my so everything I'm gonna take down is this, one of my favorite little Christmas things. I have two of these. I'll show you my car so I don't infringe anyone else's privacy, but I just put all the Christmas cards on these little things and um, as they come in, I hang them up. I have two of these. Um, so this is just one of them and they're full with Christmas cards. I just love, okay, I know my girl Kaylee won't care, but like this is the most gorgeous card. Look at this family, the most gorgeous family. And the boys are like twins. When I tell you <laughs> that baby looks just like his big brother, like she birthed the same child twice. Anyway, I just love seeing these pictures. And I hope people do not stop with um, sending Christmas cards, like real Christmas cards. Like, I love that. And we definitely do. We went with our little African thing this year. So that was cool. might move it but yay the flowers are back I'm gonna water these and get them going as I'm looking at plants this is like my fave look at him so dry poor baby um this is where he actually stays but this is my first house plant I got when we moved in I love this it's like a cheese plant I forget the name of it one of the monsteras but so so cute but need some water so I'm gonna do that um, this this room I'm gonna wait till my husband comes home from work to put this tree in this because this tree is a beast it is heavy um, heavier than my 10 foot tree I don't understand um, and it's a seven and a half but it's very very wide so it's very hard to maneuver I might try we'll see as you can see the stands it's just like this one over here, I just took some of the girls, I use these as bookshelves in the girls' room. And I just, um, what do you call it? Pulled them together with those little zip ties and use these as stands. It adds another foot to the height of a tree and it gives more room to put gifts underneath the tree. So that I like. You also get to show off the, um, the tree skirt which I tend to not use traditional tree skirts. I use like a blanket or a sheet or something like that. But yeah, it gives you more room to do that and more room to put gifts under the tree. Okay, moving on to my table. This had an elaborate thing in the middle with lights and lots of <laughs> Christmas decor. I'd already removed that. So just getting rid of the Christmas plates. My Aunt Cookie um, gave me a beautiful, I guess you would say vintage Christmas set it has all the plates and cups and saucers and bowls and everything teacups so i love this set and i always put it out every christmas all right so i've got everything in here i got plates saucers and tea, tea saucers and i got bowls a serving bowl and a serving platter cups teapot and creamer everything in these two boxes and I store them okay. now to get this table together I have you know, all my different chargers and such the white chargers the silver chargers
and I like to change out my um, wine glasses. I always keep wine glasses on that table. I keep my table set year round. Um, we really don't eat at that table. We eat at the breakfast table. <laughs> um, and so I just like to keep it set um, and keep, I just exchange them. I'm gonna use gold for this tablescape. So now I'm on to cleaning this table, finally getting it ugh, cleared off. You know, there's always that table where people put stuff and it just loads up with different crap from the day. So it feels good to get this nice and polished and get in a floral arrangement on the table, a non-Christmas one. Okay, so I decided to use my rattan um, like charger plate chargers um, like placemats and I'm trying to decide how what plates I want to set because it's there's no holiday or anything coming up um, I'll try that and I didn't really like it so I just went back to just all square since the chargers are square as well so I just used all the square uh, plates and that came out well I think And just adding these candlesticks. The candles are fake and are on a timer, so they glow at night. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoy this super long video. <laughs> I hope you like vlog style because uh, it's probably more so what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing lots of resets, so the next video will probably be my February reset, showing you how I reset for the month every, well, every month, um, and just, taking you through lots of different house projects, home decor, you know, organizing different parts of my home, how I make my home beautiful, yet organized and work for me, how I fit everything into my day, how I work out, just lots of different videos coming. I'm so excited. I also am really into digital planning, so I'll definitely be showing you lots of planner videos and essentially how I, um, plan my day. I really want to show you guys, I'm into the 12 week year, so I want to show you guys uh, how I plan for each quarter. Um, this is really a drill down on some of the stuff that I talked about today, but much more detailed. So I think you'll like it and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for spending so much time with me today and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe and help me grow my YouTube channel for 2024. That's one of my biggest goals. So thanks so guys for watching and we'll talk next time. Bye.